Learning is a complex activity. Many clever people have done lots of research into how people learn and how technology affects learning. But fortunately, there are some very clever people out there whose work makes it easier to plan and design effective learning experiences. One of those people is Professor Diana Lorillard, and she's created a framework called ABC Learning Design. This framework reduces learning to six main activities, acquire, investigate, discuss, practice, collaborate, and produce. These activities help us plan and structure a learning experience by focusing what we want our learners to be doing at each moment in the experience. Once we know what type of learning activity our learners will be doing, we can then identify relevant tools and technologies that they could use. Let's take a look at each activity. Learners acquire knowledge when they visit a website, read a book, or watch a video. It's useful, but it doesn't require them to do anything other than watch, read, or listen. You're acquiring knowledge at the moment as you're watching this video, but neither you nor I will know whether you've learned anything until you have to do something with the knowledge that you've hopefully acquired. It's often helpful for learners to acquire some prior knowledge of a topic before they come to a live session, as it reduces the cognitive load they will experience during the session. This is why flip learning is useful, because when we flip learning, we provide learners with some relevant content before a session so that they can acquire the key concepts. The next stage is investigate, which is a more active way of acquiring knowledge. When we ask learners to investigate something, they have to develop a question, find a suitable learning resource to answer that question, evaluate the response, search again, and so on. Investigating used to involve going to the library to find relevant books or searching on Google to find suitable articles. In the age of AI, investigating also involves asking learners to input prompts into large language models such as ChatGPT and then evaluating the response that is generated, but it's more active. Stage three is discuss, and it's a powerful activity. Asking learners to discuss ideas with each other helps them test and develop their knowledge. Humans are social creatures, and discussing our thoughts with others is a highly effective way of testing our knowledge and verifying whether we've understood something. Discussing also enables us to see different perspectives and appreciate how others have made sense of a topic. Discussions can happen in real time, in a physical space, or using tools such as Zoom and Teams, and these are called synchronous discussions. And discussions can happen just as effectively using messaging tools such as Slack, LinkedIn, or any tool that enables learners to exchange written messages. These are called asynchronous discussions, and they're great at producing flexible learning by enabling learners to contribute when it's convenient for them. The fourth stage is practice. Once learners have obtained some new knowledge through acquisition, inquiry, and discussion, we need to see whether they can use this knowledge. Here, the role of the learning designer is to create an activity that enables learners to do something with what they've just learned. This bootcamp is an example. After every couple of lessons, I ask you to complete a short activity. These activities are related to what you've just learned and they require you to use your new knowledge. The role of technology here is to make your learning visible so that both you and I can see how you're putting your knowledge into practice. Stage five is collaborate. Collaboration involves creating activities where learners work in pairs or small groups to make something. Collaborating goes beyond discussion because it requires learners to create an artifact by working together. Artifacts could be a report, a design, a diagram, a statement, a mood board, an infographic, or presentation. The learning value of collaboration is that it requires learners to negotiate others' ideas, allocate roles and responsibilities, integrate and apply concepts, and iterate the development of their artifact. Digital technologies can be very helpful here, and tools such as Miro, Mural, Trello, and Notion make it possible for learners and facilitators to visualize the tasks that the group needs to complete. The final stage, stage six, is produce. To use Diana Lorillard's definition, produce involves learners producing something for the teacher to evaluate. Learners might take the output from the collaboration stage and develop it into a group presentation using Google Slides, for example. Or they could take a specific element of their collaboration task and develop an individual piece of work out of it, such as a report or a video in which they reflect on the key learning points. Alternatively, if learners haven't had an opportunity to collaborate, they could produce an individual piece of work. The choice of tools here is endless. Learners could use anything that enables them to bring together their ideas and present them to the teacher or facilitator for feedback. In a pre-AI world, it was common, although not very effective, to ask learners to produce a written report or an essay. But in an AI-enabled world, learning designers need to think much more creatively about appropriate ways for learners to make their learning visible in an AI-proof way. 
This might involve asking learners to use AI tools themselves to produce an idea and several iterations of it, and then asking them to present what they've learned through the process of iterating their ideas. This enables us to assess what they've learned, not simply what they've written. Now, there are lots of learning design frameworks out there, but the ABC framework is valuable because it covers most of the learning activities that our learners will do. Each stage is also informed by a whole load of research. So by using it, you are likely to increase your chances of designing a successful learning experience.